guys and welcome back to my channel Illustrate Tour. I am Tor and today we are working through our What's in My Pencil Case 2018 and as you can tell this is a pretty old pencil case. It's actually one that I used to use in school so I kind of think it was from 2003 or 2004. It kind of got coloured in, messed around, all the typical I heart blah blah or doodles I think there was a Snoopy doodle done to there and I just put like a little key ring on there just to keep it jazzy and so I can pull that tie open so the first two things in there are some pens I acquired from Tiger a little while ago for a challenge I did here on YouTube I'll link that above for you guys I really like the two paler colors I kind of think they fit with how I'm liking to draw at the moment so I am using them for just I don't know, background squiggles. I like to use them behind doing like fancy type with some pens that I'll show you later in the video. So moving on into the pencil case, we have my favorite friction pen. I love this because I am so fickle when I come to doing my diary that it usually ends up being really messy until I found this pen. And it has been a diary lifesaver so far. So it will continue to be in this pencil case or a pencil case of the future because it's epic for me. Okay, so the white gel pen is kind of like a staple. I've been through many because I like to put in highlights. I'm trying to avoid using it though these days because I like to leave paper white where I can. So it's naturally white, but if I forget to, then it's always there, kind of like a backup. So in here, I also have a piece of plastic with Illustrate Tour on it. I layer that on top of pictures for when I'm putting them onto Instagram and try not to get a shine on it. I originally did that and showed you on YouTube, um, I think it was last year for my birthday. So I'll leave like my birthday link above so you can check that out because that was a whole bunch of fun. I loved that. That was in our old house. And pretty much every pencil case I've ever had has had a sharpener. That one was just a basic one with cubbies and a color side and a standard side. So these are pens that I butcher their names every time. I do it every time, I can't say it. But there is a medium and there is a fine nib. And between the two, I've got to say my favorite is the fine. And that's just because I like, I don't know. And let me try and explain. I love how I can control the line thickness with the little one. It seems more fluid for me to handle. Whereas the bigger one, I like it a lot but I prefer the variance within the smaller it's slightly more controlled it's probably why I don't like my Pentel brush pen very much I struggle to get on with that I just I don't know I really struggle my next pencil case staple is this Copic fine liner I have a few now but this one I thought would have run out of ink by now but it's it's still going I don't know how it's still going it's done pretty well I've doodled so much with it I really honestly expected it to have ran out of ink a long time ago so if you're wondering about the long life of a Copic fineliner disposable type it's really surprised me I would say go for it if you want one this is one of the sweetest pencils I've got one of my friends got me this in a pack of pencils that all have something positive written on them and it gives you like this happy little feeling because you're like oh yes positivity I, I like them and their leads are really good I would guess they are a 2B because of how dark I can get the lead they feel really familiar to what I used to be obsessed with in school and it's so nostalgic that I use that pencil for like almost everything so rubbers are kind of like standard with every pencil case I think that I've seen on the internet so you know don't need to tell you much about that but the little pencils that I am playing with right now are a set of random three metallics I picked up while I was in uni I completely forgot I had them until recently and I just put those in my pencil case with like a little elastic band around it so that they don't get lost in there because that's just a habit that seems to happen for me things get separated and then I can't find what I want which is why it's so handy that this is a biro pen with four pens in one if I lose one I <laughs> lose them all because they're all three a piece of it and I think they're really gorgeous colors they're kind of pale pastels and it's such a nice change from your standard blue, red, black and green pens. Even though they do sort of have variants of that, they're not quite the same. They're slightly more feminine and they appeal to me quite a lot. Another little banded together of pencils. These include my Blackwing and two of my Prismacolor Color Erase pencils that I bought myself. The leads in them seem to be pretty damn good. I'll 
to be honest, I like the blue one more than the brown, but it's not because for colour, it's actually because I must have gotten lucky in the brown lead because it's got like this hard scratchiness to it that the others that I've tried so far don't have and I think I've just gotten lucky in that. The others have been great so far. So here we have what I used to use in school. Again, I have a lot of older supplies now. It's not broken, so why, why replace it? is what I say, it does what it needs to do. Again, another little band of pencils that I've just put together in a hair elastic band. These guys are, again, from uni. I wanted to just buy a small selection of watercolor pencils, and I recently found them again because we're moving and, well, I'm finding things that I've completely forgotten about and just, was surprised that I ever forgot about them because they're things that I really like so this is one of those things that I was like ah oh, this is perfect they are literally Tina and Tango colours with a couple of extra thrown in and what tops it all off is that it's like a massive throwback for me they are watercolour pencils and I used to be addicted to watercolour pencils they were the thing that I used all the time before I discovered Copics they were the thing that I was getting good at in my humble opinion <laughs> that sounds really big-headed actually I probably wasn't that good but I remember being really proud of myself for doing it but you know we'll move on from that because that's just embarrassing now I'm just getting embarrassed yeah so I wet down those colors for you so you can see what they look like for reals what the true color is when they have been wet so you guys may have been wondering, hey Tor, where's your Copics? You're a Copic girl, aren't you? Isn't that what we see you do normally? Yes guys, don't worry, I have my Copics. You probably saw them sitting in the bottom of my pencil case waiting to come on out for you guys. Uh, the reason why I don't like bring all of my Copics is because I would probably need like a huge bag or I don't, I don't know. No, my luck, I'd drop them or lose them or and the idea of doing that honestly freaks me out because no <laughs> i'd probably have to get like a special insurance or something so yeah no <laughs> even like for shows and things when i'm asked to do demos and stuff like that i'm like oh okay um here's some pro markers <laughs> because they're basically the cheaper equivalent in england which you can easily lay your hands on which is much more accessible for shows and things like that than what Copics are because if anything happens to those I, I would cry simply no <laughs> no I acquired these Copic Chows and Sketches kind of by accident when I was doing different orders and I ended up duplicating and that's just where I had a skin set of um, sketches and then ordered set A and B of 72 it just sort of like produced duplicates which is fine because then the duplicates can go with me in my pencil cases and then there's not that pressure of oh gosh must not lose this you know which has really made me feel happy because at least then I can draw with some of the supplies that I use in every day in sketchbooks when I'm out and about it kind of brings a little bit of home out and about it's nice it's nice so some of you guys may have noticed that I am in the process of moving I think I have mentioned it quite a lot in previous videos and if you haven't noticed yes we are moving we are currently in the mad dash a packing phase Current, <laughs> kind of just fit everything in and I did not realize how many books I have and they do not go into cardboard boxes because they break out the bottom of the box I have learned the hard way guys I've learned the hard way plastic boxes all the way for books or spread spread the weight books and some clothes or something you know that common sense speak for itself when it comes to packing or if you're lucky enough hire someone or ask very nicely friends and family I personally like to pack myself though because it's kind of like Tetris. So videos may be hit and miss the next few weeks. I am going to try and make sure there is a video to go up once a week while we are moving and then two weeks afterwards to allow time for unpacking and hopefully rediscovering my art stuff. 
if I am not able to keep up with one video a week for any reason guys I will let you know on Twitter ASAP and I will try and make sure there are some short videos going up to Instagram so you guys are kept in the loop with whatever it is that is happening because I really want to bring you on my arty kind of like setup studio mini studio spare room thing because it's gonna be the first time ever I've actually had a space that I could call an art space oh it's gonna be amazing <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me on my little What's in My Pencil Case 2018 tour. If you liked what you saw, please remember to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notifi yeah, notification bell for more art shenanigans. Until next time, guys, just keep doodling. Bye!